We're here in Hilton Head Plantation at Three Sea Trout. The neighbors are having their landscaping done, so it's a little noisy out here for right now. Uh, we're, so we're in Crooked Pond in the community called Crooked Pond in Hilton Head Plantation. And this street down here is Crooked Pond, and it just sort of comes down here, goes off to the left, and then dead ends. These are the, the, the neighbors who come right down here and straight into the driveway of Three Sea Trout. Really nice landscaping, nice lawn. I love their front, front yard. Pretty blue door. Two car garage. And a little side gate which I think is one of the uh, benefits of being tucked in down here. Nice front porch with the ceiling fans going. As you come through the front door, you come into tall ceilings, cathedral ceilings, a nice family room, living room area. Hardwood floors, smooth ceilings. There is a step down here, which, quite frankly, I only have the fireplace, so you probably couldn't you couldn't raise it up. Um, I was thinking that if the fireplace had it raised hard, you could maybe raise this up and level it out. But there is a step down, so that I think they've done a nice job of decorating with it to make sure that people are aware of the step down. Let's go over into the bedrooms first. Come down the hallway and you have your laundry. They've changed out all of the hardware coat closet here. Newer carpet in the front bedroom. Nice, nice size. You could easily do a king in here if you wanted to. And this is a private bath. Closet over here. The wood continues down the hallway and then again the Carpet, carpet is new. This isn't a huge bedroom, but it's not. It's a good size. They have. I want to say this is a full, maybe a queen, uh, but this is cute. It has access right out to the to the backyard, which we'll see in a moment. Nice walk-in closet here. And a, an ensuite bath. This one could use some updating. They have a newer shower door on, but the uh, I I would do tile and and then do the shower, perhaps. But I I don't know that I'd absolutely rush into that. And then as we come into the master, it's a nice nice master with a beveled tray. Really good size. Good size walk in. Soaking tub, but nothing too nothing too elaborate here with the with the tubs with the tub and walk in shower. and then access to the backyard. Coming back across the home, come in 
to the dining dining room, dining area. And then you have space here, a little office, piano room, den. They have it set up as, as a den that has access out onto the screen porch. And then we come a little farther and we have the kitchen. Nice eat-in kitchen. Cute powder room. And then this goes out into the garage. Good size garage with access out to the side yard. And they've gotten away with some fencing here, which is kind of awesome. These are wood windows in here. It's very comfortable in here. And then this is is uh, the the room that that you'd probably end up spending some money on um, if you wanted to use this as as a bonus room. They haven't haven't done a lot of updating in here. It definitely needs some paint and. Um, but it could be a, a, a great bonus room, extra TV room. You have storage up here. But this wouldn't, wouldn't take much to, you could make this a workout room. Has, you have a lot of options up here. Let's go out back. I love the privacy here too. So you have a nice screen porch out here. Tons of outdoor space. And then this is going to be the access into the master here and the guest room here. But they've done a nice job out here. Again, the yard is beautiful. They have a, a little area over here around the a fire pit. And they, they, they have this whole this fence running the whole way around it, which I think is awesome. Um, another little area over, over off to the side, space for, for get, getting some sun, and a really nice pool. It's not huge, but it, it, it definitely would do the trick, plus a hot tub. So this is, is three sea trout, and I look forward to any questions and talking to you soon.